Hey YouTube, Chad the Gig Economist, back again on another video for all you delivery drivers out there. Believe it or not, just by sending your customers two text messages will make the job easier, give you bigger tips, and you'll receive higher ratings. So if you work for Uber Eats, DoorDash, Postmates, Grubhub, Byte Squad, Amazon Flex, or any app like those, any app that I haven't heard of yet, or if you're a driver for a standalone pizzeria or a Chinese food place or something like that, this video is for you. Now, we all know that delivery driving is an inherently easy job. Literally, any schmuck with a pulse can do these types of jobs. I mean, all you're doing is taking food from a restaurant and bringing it to a person's house or apartment or occasionally a business. And customers, they know, they know this. So most of them don't have super high expectations of their drivers. They just want their stuff. As long as you get the food to them in a reasonable amount of time and it's not cold and it's not damaged, they'll probably be satisfied. That being said, it's quite easy to impress customers because their expectations are rather low. If you use the text messages I'm about to show you on every delivery, it's going to make you stand out from the pack. These messages will convey a sense of personal service to the customer. It'll pay off in the form of bigger tips and higher ratings and just, you know, better, more comfortable interactions in general. All right, enough rambling. Let me show you the messages I keep on my phone in the notepad app. So the first message you want to send to the customer is right after you pick up the food from the restaurant and you're on your way to deliver it to them. Most, if not all of food delivery apps will notify the customer that the driver is en route, but it's just a default thing. There's no personalization to it. That's why I send this message and we'll go over this line by line. Hi, this is Chad, your food delivery driver. Now notice it says, you know, it's kind of vague and it says food delivery instead of something specific like DoorDash or Eats or whatever. That way you can use this same note for multiple platforms. If you only drive from one company or one restaurant, then you could change it to be more specific. I'm leaving the merchant now. Again, merchant is vague because it covers restaurant or store or taco stand or sub shop or whatever, uh, wherever you're coming from. You can follow my location on the app. Side note, a lot of drivers don't know this, but your location is being shared with customers on almost all of these smartphone delivery apps. So if you try to make a pit stop on the way um, or you get lost, the customer is going to see this on their phone and they might call you out on it or, you know, just might affect your tip or rating. So play it safe and just assume you're being watched at all times. If you really do need to take a, you know, take a break or stop somewhere first to get gas or you got a flat tire or whatever it is, just let the customer know this and they'll probably understand. I have insulated bags that will keep your cold items cold and your hot items hot. Side note again, if you're not using insulated bags, you're a fool. I know some companies like DoorDash actually give you a hot bag um, and some of them make you buy one. You don't have to buy super expensive catering bags but you should use something. Hell, you can get insulated bags at Walmart and most supermarkets for just a few bucks or even at the dollar store. And make sure you keep the food in the bag until the customer opens the door. That way they see the bag and it'll show them that you're really trying to keep their food warm. I've actually had a lot of customers tell me I'm the first driver they've seen use a hot bag and they've gotten cold food before. And when that happens, it usually results in a bigger tip and a higher rating. Anyway, back to the note. Uh, if you could describe your house, it will help me find you quicker and easier. If you're in an apartment, please let me know how to find your building. Uh, these two sentences will make this job a lot easier. Even though we all have GPS on our phone, they're not always 100% accurate. Uh, if you send this uh, you know, message to the customer, they'll probably write back and say, it's a yellow house with a black car in the driveway. That makes it so much easier than trying to find numbers on the house or the mailbox, especially at night. And apartment complexes are even worse. Here in Central Florida, there are apartment complexes everywhere. And a lot of times, the entire complex shares the same street address and they're laid out like a freaking maze. Um, if the customer writes you back, um, they'll tell you something like, you know, it's a second building on the left, or when you come in, turn left, then right, then left, or whatever it is. And it'll just make it so much easier to find them. If there's a gate, please send me the code or the callbox number. Again, there are gated uh, apartment complexes and gated subdivisions everywhere around here. Most customers don't put their gate code in the delivery note, so when they see this message, it reminds them to provide you with that information. If they tell you to tailgate someone in, well, that's the subject for another sermon, which I already made a video about. 
Um, I will be in a white Honda Fit. See you soon. Some of the apps tell the customer what kind of car you're in, but I doubt most people pay attention to that. If you tell them what kind of car you know you're in, um, then they're much more likely to come outside to you when they recognize the car, or at least it lets them know the delivery driver is here, not some stranger pulling into their driveway. No. Usually, I only serve one customer at a time, but the app sometimes piggybacks multiple deliveries on one route. If you see my car go somewhere other than your location, this is why. It's pretty rare that you'll pick up two or more orders from the same restaurant at the same time on the same app, but it can happen, and it has happened to me a few times. If you're going straight from the restaurant to the customer, you could probably leave this out. But if you're running multiple delivery apps at the same time, it will really come in uh, handy. Uh, what happens to me a lot is I'll get an order for the same fast food restaurant for DoorDash and Uber Eats at more or less the same time. The problem is you don't know where the customer is on Uber Eats until you swipe to start delivery. So they might be 180 degrees in the opposite direction of the DoorDash customer. So this last paragraph helps prevent uh, the customers from freaking out if they follow your location on their phone. They see you going in the opposite direction uh, from them. I wish I had been using this message last summer when I first started doing delivery driving. I made a video about a Postmates customer who flipped out because I picked up his order and then I did a DoorDash delivery going in the opposite direction uh, of where he was. If I had sent him if I had sent him this note, maybe he would have understood and what I was doing, you know, what I was doing and, and he wouldn't have flipped out or maybe not as much. Uh, okay, so that's the first note. Here's the second note you should send after you've completed the handoff and you're back in your car, don't swipe delivery complete until you send this note. It was a pleasure working with you today. If you enjoyed my service, please rate me five stars. If you have the customer's name, I would actually put their name after the word today. That way it's at least a little personalized and the customer will feel like you're talking to them specifically and not just sending out a default message. Also on the first message after it says hi, you could put their name in there too. Also, I'd like to say working with you rather than working for you because it implies there's some kind of teamwork going on rather than you just being subservient. Uh, if your app doesn't use a five-star system, like for, for example, Uber Eats is just thumbs up or thumbs down, the customer will know what you mean. Uh, or if you only work for one delivery platform and they have a different rating system, just rewrite it so that it, it lines up with however your rating system works. Back to the note. And of course, thank you for tipping. Every extra dollar and cent is truly appreciated. Always, always, always thank customers for tipping. If you don't say anything, you'll make them think you're an ingrate and it'll rub them the wrong way. In fact, even if everything goes smoothly, if you don't uh, thank customers for tipping, they might rate you poorly or they might even retract their tip altogether. No matter how chintzy or lucrative their tip is, customers like gracious delivery drivers. People just like to be thanked in general, I think. Um, now, I know what you're thinking. What if they didn't tip and I just thanked them for something they didn't do? Well, I think it's a matter of no harm, no foul. If they didn't tip or they weren't planning on tipping, you didn't lose anything by telling them that. I suppose some people could interpret that as a presumption of a tip, which actually is a valid thing in American service culture, I'd say. Um, but again, that's a subject for another sermon. Uh, maybe, you know, that could rub some people the wrong way, but those are probably the kind of people who are either stingy tippers or don't even tip at all. So again, you really have nothing to lose by sending them that. Uh, yeah, so those are the two messages that will make delivery driving just a little easier and make you more money. I know, I know they have for me. Not that I'm getting, you know, a hundred dollar tip on every single you know, order, but I've just noticed that I'm making more money than I was before I started using these messages. Over time, it's it's really added up. Um, oh, you probably noticed that these messages are sprinkled with emojis. I know it might seem corny or silly to some people, but using the right emoji in the right place makes the message easier and more fun to read. Most customers think the emojis are cute. And again, because none of the other drivers are sending these messages, or at least not like these ones, um, it'll make you stand out. And again, this will lead to bigger tips and higher ratings. Uh, so let me know in the comment section if these messages work out for you or any suggestions you have to uh, change them. I actually do tweak them by a word or two once a week or so. Um, so they're not set in stone. And of course, you know, feel free to change them to whatever works best for you. Uh, while you're here, check out some of my other videos on the gig economy life. And as always, 
Thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video.